Hello everybody, this is Chris, otherwise known as the Big Blue Baller, and it is about time I finally caved in and joined the NBA 2K20 My Team Unlimited Sweat Fest of Eternity during this endgame session of NBA 2K20 My Team as we are waiting for NBA 2K21's My Team, and before anybody brings it up in the comments, I did see the 2K TV episode a couple days ago, and to be quite honest, I don't feel like we got much more news other than we know that evolution cards are coming back with a little bit more flexibility as to how we evolve them, what stats we can evolve, and also that there's going to be more competitive game modes, but honestly, not really worth making a whole video about, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, uh, as you guys have seen from previous videos, I've had a lot of MT making methods and tips and tricks, sniping methods, ways to make it on the auction house not sniping, uh, so on and so forth. And finally, I'm putting all of that to use and I bought some cards, some Galaxy Opals, and we're coming out here and competing in the Cheese Sweat Fest, whatever you want to call it, here in Unlimited. And let me tell you, uh, right off the bat, I'm trash at this, okay? And I have all the excuses in the world as to why I'm trash on this online mode. Um, some of them I feel like are legitimate excuses, others I'll just say I'm not good at playing Unlimited and I think a lot of it just has to do with the fact that uh, this game mode, quite honestly, it doesn't typically play like real basketball. It's like if we took the Avengers versus a DC superheroes and they played a game of basketball like everybody is just 99 overall can shoot threes can dunk can run can do just about anything and obviously in real life we don't have players like Yao Ming Taco Fall sprinting up and down the court non-stop action putting up threes Bill Walton running around as you can see right here pink diamond coming in this time missing the layup though this is the unevolved version that my opponent has and uh coming down here with jr smith i see taco fall uh wide open in the paint passing out to kp who's hitting it from three and uh yeah i did say i was trash at this game mode but as you can see we're already starting off up by eight points here uh beginning of the second quarter but yeah so first off, I'm not used to playing with the superheroes of the NBA, uh, the very best of the best, the 99 overall unrealistic cards. Uh, I really haven't delved into Unlimited much all year. I had that one Taco Tuesday video a few weeks ago, but otherwise, uh, haven't really touched my team at all. And so here we are, giving it a go. And uh, one other thing that really bothers me, and this I feel like is a legitimate excuse, and I'm sure everybody else has to deal with this too, and it's just a matter of getting used to it. I know it's not my internet because I can play Call of Duty Warzone just fine without any lag whatsoever. Um, but uh, there is definitely input delay in this game. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, you know, I hit the button to shoot, and uh, the guy will shoot it one second later, as we got Kobe right here with the step back mid-range money let's get it that is the fully evolved galaxy opal evolution kobe bryant that you get for free uh i went ahead and went through all the games and got him fully evolved i believe it's eight games of 40 plus points per game and 24 games scoring 50 plus points per game so it took some time but playing a lot of the uh all-time spotlight sims challenges the, the historic spotlight sim challenges and the current day ones just playing a bunch of those games on rookie and pro and just getting it done pretty easy not too hard of a grind uh game back to the game here yeah so there's definitely an input delay i want to know if you guys can let me know in the comments down below do you also experience this because again i don't believe it's my internet i have no trouble with other online games that would require a stronger internet connection due to the number of people in the game but for whatever reason and i know it's you know 2k is notorious for having the worst online servers in the history of, of eternity forever of video games but uh i don't know it just seems kind of ridiculous to me so uh basically the number one thing i found as we get this first win here in my team unlimited uh the first thing i found uh, playing this game right off the bat is you got to know your players jump shots and you basically have to release the button before they're actually done shooting on screen because even though it takes longer for the player to shoot when you initially hit that button the timing doesn't change so 
you have to know your player's jump shot release before you start playing online. Otherwise, you're going to get a ton of late releases, uh, which is what I found earlier before you know starting to record. Because I'll be honest, I did record a game before that first one. Didn't go so smooth. I'm like, oh, did not realize that there is such a huge input lag in this game, but here we are. Anyways, next matchup. Not looking too difficult, right? You know, he's got Galaxy Opal, uh, NBA is back, Russell Westbrook, okay, you know, good card, uh, as we see right here, him hitting the three, but he's got Rudy Gobert at the center, Ben Wallace at the power forward, and uh, Gobert isn't that great of a Galaxy Opal. I feel like he's one of the lower tier ones. And look, he's got the unevolved Kobe Bryant, but still, that card can hit threes. And right off the bat here, just, just showing off my terrible defense. That's what we're doing here. Look at this. Already three threes in a row. Here we go again. Another one about to come right here. Ben Wallace, you can see him on the right wing. Sean Kemp's there. And Ben Wallace is not known for shooting threes, but again, this is the superhero mode of NBA 2K. Right, oh my goodness, again, uh, JR Smith backing off just a little bit. I usually don't play on ball too much just because of the input lag and having to guess where players are going. And there we go again, another three. And it just kept going and going and going. And uh, here we go once more. Uh, Russell Westbrook and my controller dies. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, uh, not good. I was able to get within four points at one point in the beginning of the fourth quarter, but I'm not, I'm not going to waste your guys' time with that. So, we lose by 13 points here in the second game. We're trying to go 12-0 here. That is the goal of the uh, Sweatfest series going into NBA 2K21's My Team. Like I said, not used to this mode at all. Uh, I'm more used to the regular online gameplay uh, with uh, the the play now online mode, but I have not really touched unlimited at all this year. So this is completely new to me. Uh, I'm still getting used to all the crazy step back threes that players can do. So stay tuned for more unlimited videos. I'm not going to have as many tips and tricks videos for the next few weeks because honestly, like we're at, we're in the end game. I gave you guys an end game guide. I've given you guys some MT making tips at this stage in the game's life cycle. There's not really much else to to much else information to give out really. Um, we're just kind of sitting and waiting for more news and for the new game to come out in approximately four weeks. So stay tuned for more NBA 2K21 news and then soon to come NBA 2K21 gameplay. Uh, and then for the next few weeks leading up to that, look out for more unlimited gameplay. We're going to have different lineups, uh, different play styles. I think in the next unlimited video, we're going to try running a cheese play every single time and just see how that goes. But the ultimate goal, we're trying to get that 12-0, get that GOAT Oscar Robertson, and uh, we'll see if we can do it. But anyways, if you did enjoy and you are looking forward to more, please leave a like and subscribe to the Big Blue Baller Buckets YouTube channel. And check out these other videos on your screen now for more NBA 2K20 My Team gameplay. And to all my big blue ballers out there, let's get that bread. And I will see you all on the next one.